I would say that it started off, well, since I was a child. So that was the path. Uh, I was always encouraged by my parents. They used to give me pocket money and I used to spend my things, my money on only two things. Um, it used to be chocolate and art materials. So that's really where it started. And since then I've progressed. I've went on to do uh, a degree and now I'm doing what I absolutely love. I think they choose me. Um, I see so many things throughout the day, through days, months, years, and I think my brain stores everything up. And then eventually it just comes out whenever I'm doing a painting. So really they choose me. I can't actually tell you how I, how I work out the colour scheme. It just happens. I'm influenced by so many things. Um, I'm influenced by objects I see every day, uh, other artists, um, people like Mikhail Rubel, uh, Anna Soronova, she's another one that I've just discovered. Um, so many artists. Um, also, there are a lot of manga um, artists, you know, who do manga anime. Their work is also um, influential in my work. Um, also, um, one of the, art one of the um, artists is Rodin. Um, because his uh, sculptural work, um, a lot of it was based on dance. And of course, my horses are dancing in a way. So all my work is, is moving. My horses move on canvas. So the drawings form the very foundation of my work. Everything begins from a drawing. Um, when the drawings start off, or when I, the, my drawing style, it is very classical. So it is in complete contrast to uh, my painting work, which is contemporary. So there's clearly, it reflects another side of me. Um, when the drawing um, then transitions onto a painting, it changes. It changes straight away it's from something classical to something, something contemporary. But yes, as far as my drawing is concerned, it's very precious to me. It's something that um, is integral to my work. I can't work without starting off with a drawing because it's integral to my research, which is the basis of all my paintings. It starts off with a drawing. So um, what I will do is, whatever subject it is, it could be if I'm doing something like a person or an object, it will start off with that. So I will be drawing, I'll be studying it through, I'll be exploring it, the subject, through my drawing work. Then once I'm satisfied with the drawings, drawing or drawings, I then progress onto um, samples. So I research through um, colour, uh, shape, line, and then um, that then creates the structure of the work. And then from the structure, my sample, once I'm happy with the sample that I've chosen, whichever one I've done, I'm happy with it, it then is translated um, onto canvas, it's committed to canvas. And then I start my painting. How long is a piece of string? Um, it all depends on the subject, uh, it depends on the size, uh, it depends on um, the detail of the painting, so it could take anything from two to three weeks to even three months, four months, 